My piece of art, fiber art, for this show is called Peter's Sunrise because I, this is hand-woven cloth and I brought it to critique, spread it out on the table, and I said, what should I do with it? I've had it for years, what should I do with it? And Peter Nussbaum said, Julie, you know what you have to do with it? You have to do this and you have to do this and look at the lines the way the light falls. And I said, Peter, that's it. I know how to do that. I went home. My underneath here is wire, heavy duty squirrel wire. I will not say what my husband calls this squirrel wire because we have squirrels that come into our windows and make nests. And when he puts up this wire, no squirrels. So that's what's supporting it. And I put it on a heavy duty canvas and I loved it. But the reason I thought to make art this way is Shirley Engelstein. Going to her apartment is like entering another universe. It's, an ima it's, a, it's, it's a fantasy ride. It's a trip beyond which I have never experienced. You see some of her art around in this show. Believe me, it's nothing. Try walls of fiber trees. Anyway, this is Peter's Sunrise because Peter Nussbaum was so helpful to me at the Wilmette Arts Guild Critique and, that, and it arose, it came into an existence because Shirley inspired me. I've had this piece of cloth for 10, 15 years. I didn't know what to do with it. The boys and I, my boys and I wove it on the loom. We, we have lots of stuff that was woven on the loom. It, it's fun. The boys liked it. I liked it. It was fun. Made clothes out of it and everything. But this has been lying around. I had nothing to do with it. Shirley put me on the right road. And now I have all my cloth out from 10 and 15 years ago. And my husband is absolutely in decline. He felt that maybe our dining room could be used for dining yet again. Maybe the top of my piano could be used for hearing music. No, it's now all fiber art, and that's what I'm doing. I used to make a living as a, as a watercolor artist, and then I became president of the Wilmette Arts Guild. Why aren't the two miscable? I'm not sure, but being president of the Wilmette Arts Guild, I have been able to meet so many creative people. We've been able to do the newsletter. We've been able to do this show. This is the Wilmette Arts Guild's first fiber show. I have received email after email after email from painters, oil painters are particularly judgmental, and they were overwhelmed. They said they never knew that art could be this way. And you know, one of the reasons I like fiber art is that there are no rules. You can do whatever you want. And if it looks fine, then it is fine. They don't care. Fiber artists don't care. It's wonderful. Anyway, um, my background is in watercolor. I love watercolor, still do watercolor. Love the Wilmette Arts Guild. Still do the Wilmette Arts Guild. Still have fiber shows. We do the newsletter. We're doing an inter interdisciplinary curriculum with a clock, a, 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 a nine foot clock, and the Wilmette Public School System. You know, I, I hardly have time to paint, but Shirley has really given me a release because this watercolor, you have to really concentrate. And if you don't concentrate, it, it's ruined. I can put this on a table and work on it and work on it and work on it, leave it there, work on it some more, leave it there, work on it, and it's fine. If I do watercolor, I have to do it all in one sitting and you have to pre-plan and it's, abs it's finite. You have to just do it. It's very different, and I love watercolor. I love it's like um, sort of holding your nose and jumping into a pond. You just have to do it. But fiber art is more tolerant. You know, when Sally Sock Sa Sash said that she has an attention of a gnat, I know what she means, because I do too. I want to leave my project, go do my work, work for the Wilmot Art Skill do whatever I have to do, and then have it be there for me when I get back. And that is what is so wonderful about fiber art. If I glue it wrong, then I can do it again. It's wonderful. And I just love, I love being a fiber artist. I love fiber artists. I think the women here are fabulous.
and I will keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. I just love it. I work best on my watercolors early in the morning. I wake up fresh and I have this white piece of paper in front of me and I know the washes I have to do, the hair dryer I have to dry it with, and how it's going to go, and I can see it before I even begin it. And that's morning's work. Pastels, I do late at night. All the colors are right there. I pick up, I mark it. Pick it up, mark it, mark it. Fiber art, yeah. It's like eating chocolate. You can do it anytime you want. And it's, it's out on the table. I do not put it away. You have to have a very tolerant family. Uh, I do not put it away. And you can just work on it whenever you want to. And that's really the beauty of it. Really wonderful. So I work on my fiber art at, a, at all different times. 